Thank you for joining us again this week on the Santee Cooper Sportsman TV. I tell you what, we're a long way from home this week, but we're still in God's country. We're way up in here in the mountains of Pennsylvania, and Mr. Bryce right here has got a date with a big trophy buck. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you one more time for inviting us up here. Oh, thank I tell you. you what, man, I'm honored to be able to come up here and film you and Bryce do what you do best. And uh, you uh, you formed, well, you and a, and a lot of other people formed yeah. Pap Shed Outdoor Club. And what you do, I guess you set up trips for, uh, for sick uh, or underprivileged young men and women. And, and, and I'm talking about you set up trips of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, we, we set up trips for anybody who has a life-changing illness, injury, or disability. And right. we don't have an age cut off, it's just whoever replies, and if we can make it happen, we try to make it happen. Beautiful. We just need a lot of help Beautiful. getting it done. Okay, Wayne, our expert number one deer hunting guide. Uh, Wayne is one of the guides here at Mountaintop Whitetail Haven here in Likens, Pennsylvania. Wayne, this is a beautiful place you guys have here. Wow. It certainly I mean, is, yeah. The views, the lodge, the deer. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see some of these deer people. Well, look at this. I'm talking about trophy bucks and then some. Um, Wayne, what, when people come to the lodge here, what can they expect? And it's obvious they can expect really, really trophy bucks, but you guys have them from what 120 class right we on have, up to yep from 120 mm -hmm. up to 350 400 inch deer here what we're looking to do is provide the hunt of a lifetime to anybody that's looking to fulfill their dreams with a trophy box and uh, we've teamed up here with uh, Ken and Pap Shed Hunting Club you know, and uh, trying to make this hunt for Bryce happen and hopefully this will be a memory that lasts the rest of his life and uh, we're having a good time doing it it's been a lot okay. of fun so far well I'm looking forward to it we didn't get that big buck we were after on our first set. We went out that morning and we saw the deer we were after. Golly, is he a brute. But anyway, we went back that afternoon and things got really, really exciting. Watch what happens. He's up there. There he's coming. Oh, yeah, he'll be dead at the door to hell. Now, what do you think the range is? Because I didn't get my most comfortable shot would be like probably 55 to 60 yard. Let me check here and see what his range him right there where he's at. Pretty sure I can't smoke him. He's at 68 yards right there.
Ken, thank yeah. you so much, buddy, for setting this up. Uh, thank I you tell you what, I'm a I'm a long way from home, but uh, I can honestly say this is God's country also up here. This is gorgeous. Um, Ken, you set this thing, you set this whole thing up for Mr. Price right here. Um, tell us a little bit about what you do at Pat Shed Outdoor Club. Uh, we make it possible for, our goal is to make it possible for anyone with a life-changing <clears throat> illness or injury to be able to go on a hunting or fishing trip. Wow. And we don't have an age restriction. You know, they just have to apply and we go through all that and try to make it happen if we can. Wow. With the help of people like Wayne up here at the Whitetail Haven and yourself, it kind of makes it easier to make it happen. Bryce, how did you happen to find Ken, or how did Ken happen to find you? Well, a friend of my dad's knows uh, Ken, uh, does these hunts for people with disabilities. Right. And uh, his friend Carl told us about Ken, and we submitted the paperwork, and now we're sitting here with Ken. Okay. <laughs> well, now you have cerebral palsy. Yes, I right? do. Okay. And, uh, well, you know, if you'd like people like yourself to get help, get invited on trips like this, like you have, who should they contact? Send your donations to Pap Shed Outdoors in Dolphin, Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, and that gives Ken sponsorship money to make things like this possible for other people like me. Beautiful. And Ken, your website is what? It's www.papshedoutdoorclub.com. Yeah. Well, Bryce, I know you feel privileged to, to be on a hunt like this. I mean, this is the hunt of a dream, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you and your dad, Brian. Absolutely. I tell you what. Well, I tell you what, I'm having a, a great time, and I know you are. God, we saw some nice bucks this morning. Yes, we did. Wow. And, and I got a feeling you're going to get a moose this afternoon. I have a feeling, too. All right. It's not too long from now. We're going back hunting again, aren't we? Yep. All right. All right. Let's go. That's that same shooter buck that we saw this morning that come by us there in the dark. And then again early this afternoon, just as we got into the stand, it's the same shooter. Oh, he's nice. What do you think of Bryce? Do you like him? Yeah. Oh man, he might come this way this time. He's coming out to the road.
shoot. As soon as he gets broken, <laughs> he starts. behind his front shoulder and squeeze it off nice and easy. Mother Big buck <laughs> down, buddy. Big, Big buck, buck down, down, buddy. I gotta call that. Ready to go. <laughs> Give me five. Right, so look awesome. this way, buddy. Look this way, buddy. Of course, I know it's hard not to look at that buck. Good gosh, what a monster buck. Mm. What? But in this world, Bryce. But not the second time. No, he said reload quick and it dropped as I go. That's a big deer. Some awesome memories today, buddy. Yeah, something none of us will forget. That's right. <laughs> wow. Wow. Get up there, get down on your knees and grab a hold of that rack. You're gonna have to help me hold it up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let me pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a buck. I'm in shell shock. <laughs> He's getting heavy. All right. Oh no. Let me else take a picture because I'm powering off. All right, everybody. It's time for the Sandy Cooper Sportsman Tip of the Day. When you're fishing with any kind of shrimp like this or any kind of jig, do a lot of um, jig fishing for big crappie in the Sandy Cooper Lakes, always see this, this, um, this has been hooked on the hook holder during transport. So what happens, your, your knot is in the front of the jig eye. Always take your knot and pull it back up on top like that. And what it does when this, when this jig, when this shrimp is still, it makes it sit, sit flat which is more natural. 